All right, guys, let's answer a question put to me on Instagram. Hey, do you think it's viable to get into freelancing without prior real work experience working at a company? So I assume he's talking about working at a web development or a web design company. Short answer is yes, 100%. 100%. Why? Because people who are looking to hire freelancers are not looking at your resume. They don't care if you have prior work experience. What they care is that you have prior experience in work or prior experience developing things. So as I teach in my mentoring program, you want to develop reputation. There's different ways you can do that. Number one is you can get yourself some certifications, although that is of minimal consequence in the freelance world, much more important if you're getting a job. And it's 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 the first level, if you will, whether it be certifications or getting a degree, that kind of thing that has some weight still, although I would argue diminished in the developing world, in the development world. The other thing that you can do is you uh, put up a website, make sure it looks good and put links to examples of the real commercial work that you've done in the past. That is going to be your number one seller by far, meaning the number one thing that's going to influence whether or not people are going to want to work with you. Why do people buy my courses? Why do people consult with me? Why do people mentor with me? Because of my long track record, you know, my, my YouTube channel, all the projects I've involved with, uh, the book I wrote, uh, the, the big companies that I've done jobs for, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. These all factor into my reputation. When you got a good reputation, people will trust that they work with you. Because remember, when a small business owner is hiring you to do a job for them, they don't know if you're a good coder or not in terms of being able to assess your coding ability. They don't know anything about code. That's why they're hiring you probably. So the way they assess you is through certification and your background, uh, what your track record is. Yes, having worked at another company can help, but what's more important is having a well-developed website and having uh, your own track record as a freelance developer. So how do you get those first gigs? You do a couple of gigs for free. It's kind of like your stash, if you will. Uh, again, I teach this in the mentoring program. I teach this in my freelance course, step-by-step step what you need to do. It's much quicker to get up and running in this field than you might think otherwise. All right, I hope that helps. Bye-bye. Thank you.